Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, guys. In this one, I'm going to show you how to animate masks, or to track masks to be more specific, and how to do it very, very easily. I know if you've used After Effects or some of the other programs, tracking can be a real painful uh, experience, but in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it in Premiere Pro, nice and easy. What am I going to do? Right here, I'll show you what we're going to do. You see here, I've got a, I've got a blur on this guy's face here. And as I move forward, the blur sort of stays with his face, even though it does change a little bit. But at the end of the day, you'll see this the technique is that it's animated, it's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, so I've downloaded some footage from Pexels. Uh, let's change the sequence settings, whatever. And it's free footage, so it's just some guy setting up his camera to take some pictures. Nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make this three seconds, yeah, just going to make it three seconds long because uh, this process tracking inside Premiere Pro requires quite a little bit of, of uh, horsepower, so it does chew up some CPU and GPU. So anyways, there we go. Now the next step here is I'm going to go ahead and I want to do a blur. So the best blur in my opinion is the Gaussian blur. And I'm going to drag and drop. I'm just going to type that into the effects panel. Pardon me, I should have said that. Uh, I'm in effects. If you if you don't see effects panel, there just make sure there's a check mark beside effects, and you're on your way. In the effects panel, type in Gaussian, and it will show you Gaussian blur like this. I'm going to drag and drop it onto my little timeliney thingy dingy, and nothing happened. That's okay. Do not panic, people. The next step is you want to increase the blurriness. So I'm going to increase it. Substantially, I'm going to increase it to like a hundred because I really want to show you the effect. This would be like somebody after drinking 24 beers, but that's all good. I've never done that, honest to God. All right, the next step here is make sure that your playhead is at the start of the timeline. I am at the zero frame here, so I am right at the start. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to draw a free draw bezier. I am basically going to create a mask. And for those of you that aren't aware, you can go ahead and either click on this ellipse the polygon mask or the free draw bezier. I'm going to free draw this just because, I don't know, why not? So I'm going to draw a little bit outside of his head here, so it's going to get a little more than his face, and that's by design. So there's a little, oh, geez, uh, come on, Curtis. And then when you see that I've got the, um, the pen tool over top of the original point, You'll see it has an O there. That means it's basically closing the circle. So it's closing, it's not closing the circle, but it's closing the mask. I'm going to go ahead and maybe just move this out a little bit more because, yeah, what do you think, guys? I might have been a little bit too tight there. Um, okay, so we've got, I'm going to click off of it. I'm going to switch back here to the selection tool. Click out and then click on. And you'll see here I've got the mask. But it's not animated. It just stays where it is. So that is the whole point of this thing. So let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. So when you see here under Gaussian Blur, you're going to see Mask. And in particular, you're going to see this wrench. And it says Tracking Method. You want to left click on this. And then we want to use Position, Scale, and Rotation. If this is your first time clicking on this, there's a good chance that there's no check mark beside the preview. You want that because you want to see what you're doing. So right, left click on that part of me and make sure there's a check mark beside the preview. Now after this and you've gone ahead and we've got this at the beginning, just like that, we've got the mask, it's ready to go. The next step is a simple one. You just want to hit this play button or right facing chevron or whatever the hell they're called. Um, you want to hit play and you, when you hover over it, you're going to see it says track selected mask forward. Left click on that. And now it is doing the tracking. And because we have the preview on, you're going to be able to see exactly how it's doing. So it's doing a pretty good job. It's sticking with this guy's face as he moves in time. And that's it, guys. Over, You can, of course, adjust the mask as you see fit. But this is how you do it with tracking as opposed to doing it manually and then moving the mask over time. I know how to do that, too. You guys probably know how to do that, too. It's a pain in the butt. But that's it, guys. Remember, click that wrench. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. A lot more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.